What's good YouTube? It's Toxic Fru and today we're here with another video. We're gonna be watching 10 abnormally ad blah, 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 large dogs in the world. I've never seen a big dog like a big 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 dog but you know there's obviously some big dogs out there but these are some large dogs like overly sized dogs like they were fed something when they were babies or something like that. But if you guys want to see more of reactions like this make sure you guys like on it. Make, 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 make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and never miss another upload. That means you you gotta hit the bell to never miss another upload. Comment down below. Let's just get right into the video. Some breeds of dog have been around since ancient times. Ancient times, Most obviously. dogs are bred for a lot of different things, from yep. protecting livestock and protecting their owners, exactly. to being faithful and loyal companions. Yep. But in order for a dog to be protective, it should be bred with the size it needs to be effective. Okay, buddy. Join us as we take a look at 10 of the largest dogs ever. That's a pit bull, boy. What, what are you showing that for? Hulk. The Pitbull. Oh, yeah. I the know name this guy. Hulk fits this Pitbull dog perfectly yeah, because he is a giant 175 pounds and stands dog. on his hind legs at almost 5 feet tall. And while he might seem big and scary, his owners say that he is very gentle and is even trusted around their young son. His owners train guard dogs professionally, and even Hulk is a trained professional guard dog who will heed his owners every command and protect them with his life. Whoa. A dog this size needs to eat and eat a lot. Yes. Every day he is fed four pounds of raw ground beef mixed with his special supplements. Four pounds. This along with his regular dog food and treats that he gets on the side. Hulk recently was the proud father <laughs> of 12 puppies, of Dang. which some are likely to be his size or maybe even rival their father's size. Wow. They're going to be some big old dog. Freddy the Great Dane. Whoa! It's probably no surprise to many that the Great Dane is one of the largest breeds of dog in the world. But Freddy takes the breed to a whole new level of big. He stands 7 foot 6 inches on his hind legs, what? 2 feet taller than his owner, and weighs 200 pounds. What? Freddy's owner, ex-glamour model Claire Stoneman, Bro, look at that dog! is entirely devoted to her Bro! That dog is huge. In that little old space? But that dog big, tall as heck. Guinness World Record holder and his sister Fluent. But having big dogs also means having big expenses. Yes. Claire spends about $16,500 a year to feed and take care of these big Great Danes. With the dog this size, it's hard to argue with him. That's a big dog. Zorba the English Mastiff. Whoa! This English Mastiff was a legend. Oh when no! It comes to some oh no! I'm not. Dogs. I'm not messing with that man. You may know that when it comes to the combination of weight and height, nothing can beat this breed of canine. Many Mastiffs average up to 190 pounds, but it's not unusual for these giants to weigh around 225 pounds at full maturity. Bruh. However, a dog comes along once in a while that amazes even the most seasoned that big is dog a enthusiasts. Big old dog. That's where Zorba came in. Zorba the English Mastiff was so massive that he easily earned a place in the Guinness Book of World Records in September of 1997 Dang. as the heaviest dog. But shortly in November, Zorba weighed a hefty 343 pounds Whoa. with a height of 37 inches at the shoulder I don't and know was measured at 8 feet 3 inches from the tip of okay. his nose to his tail and okay. earned the title as the heaviest and longest dog in the world. No That's one is sure what happened dog. to Zorba, but one thing is sure that he will always be a legend among the world's biggest dogs. It's a big old dog, man. That's crazy. I don't need all that. <laughs> all I need is a pit bull and that's it, man. C.H. Sampson, the Neapolitan Mastiff. This breed of Mastiff called Mastino Napolitano is actually an ancient dog breed, and that might explain the size of this rare dog. C.H. Sampson was one of the largest and heaviest Mastiffs and weighed Can't a whopping 225 pounds at just two and a half years old. His size, health, and strength of his breed was rare, so no other Mastiffs like him have been found since. Sampson was so big, he could easily fetch a small car tire and carry it around. What? There is not much more known about Sampson except that he won a lot of titles that's and That's a big old dog, awards. though. Like, that's crazy. But this Neapolitan Mastiff the one thing that comes in effect until health. another bigger dog comes along to take his place. That is, if that ever happens. Imagine walking around with your dog and just having to take pictures. You can't even walk your dog like... The heck? Zeus the Great Dane. Dang! Zeus, who lived in Otsega, Michigan, was named the world's tallest dog by the Guinness World dog. Records in 2012. 
He measured an incredible 44 inches from his feet to the middle of his shoulder blades. Dang. Standing on his hind legs, he stretched a towering 7 feet 4 inches over that his own. That dog got some height. He ate 30 pounds of dog food every day and could pounds. easily get a fresh running water drink from the kitchen sink without having to jump up to reach. Dang. In addition to his international fame, Zeus was well known throughout the Kalamazoo area due to frequent trips to area schools and hospitals where he served as a therapy dog. Sadly, wow. he only lived five years, which is actually oh. the average old age for a dog of this size. Wow. He is still a legend among big dogs to this day. Wow. That was, that was, RIP to him, bro. Newfoundland. Unlike many larger breeds, the Newfoundland wasn't bred to be a guard dog. Instead, it was bred to help fishermen. Okay. These big muscular dogs are able to haul nets and lines from boats, pull carts, and most I've importantly, this dog fetch my life. anything that falls overboard into the water, including people. The Newfoundland is an exceptional water dog and a strong swimmer, and okay. there have been many rescues of people out at also sea. Also educational and crazy at the same time. Gentle natured dogs. Newfoundland dogs stand between 27 to 30 inches tall and weigh as much as 150 pounds. They look even bigger because of their thick double coat which keeps them warm, even in icy water. It's a big dog. Bushy too, so you already know what it is. The Irish Wolfhound. Ooh. Like the Scottish Deerhound, the Irish Wolfhound, as its name implies, was bred to chase <laughs> that nice. Developed from warhounds into a dog that was used for hunting and guarding, the Irish Wolfhound is an ancient breed of canine and may have been brought to Ireland as far back as 7000 BC. Dang. When their primary use was hunting, today's breed of Irish Wolfhound are fairly quiet, reserved, intelligent, and easygoing. Yeah. This breed is the tallest of all dogs and even taller than the Great Dane. What? Males often stand as tall as 34 to 35 inches from foot nothing. to shoulder blade and stand over 7 feet tall on their hind legs. It's a cool dog. I've never seen a dog ever in my life. And although ever. the English I've Mastiff never is as tall must as a like, miniature oh, horse, expensive. the Irish Wolfhound is equal to a donkey. It look like a donkey. <laughs> look at that little guy. Leonberger. This large breed of dog began as a mix between a Newfoundland and a St. Bernard. In the mid-1840s, Heinrich Essig of Leonberg Germany Only if I knew crossed what a Saint the Bernard and with a St. Bernard was. for four generations, then added in a Pyrenean mountain dog to the mix. Dang! The result of these several generations of breeding is the Leonberger. This breed stands between 27 to 31 inches tall and can weigh as much as 170 pounds. Okay. But despite their size, they are simply giant family dogs. Though their main purpose is as a companion animal, the breed does very well in everything from water rescue to tracking to herding. If oh, it is an activity that requires both strength and smarts, the Leon Burger is probably going to be good at it. It's a big dog. It's a big dog, man. Caucasian Shepherd. Caucasian this big shepherd. dog was bred to do one thing only, and that is to protect sheep from wolves and any other predator that dares attack a shepherd's flock. Okay. However, it's these big dogs dog. can and have been used to protect other livestock. The Caucasian Shepherd is extremely popular in Georgia, which has always been the principal region of penetration of Caucasian Shepherd. Dang! Dogs. Also known as Caucasian Afcharka or Dang! Caucasian Shepherd Dogs are strongly boned, muscular, and even tempered. They are big enough that wolves most of the time will dare not attack the flock they are guarding. But these dogs are very territorial and will even attack other strange dogs of their same breed. Wow. I don't need all that. I just need a regular dog. I don't need all that extra stuff, dude. That, that's how you get the out. Anatolian Shepherd. This shepherd. canine was bred to be a shepherd's companion and livestock guardian. The interesting thing about them is that they were bred for their size and color, so that they matched the livestock they were protecting. The breed right. was developed to withstand harsh climatic conditions and thrive in the lifestyle of nomadic shepherds by guarding their flocks of sheep and herds of goats. Was that ever, Loyalty, did that chain ever like hurt their necks? The like, most I, I, I never asked that type of question. These like, dogs should be kept in a pair at minimum. If not properly socialized and trained, Anatolians can become unmanageable with strangers and sometimes even with their owners. Okay. Dog just chilling. 
Hey, man, that video was very, very interesting and very, very educational. Some of those dogs in there I've never seen, and some of them dogs are very beautiful and very, they're, they're very rare. They're very, very rare. Now, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that bell to never miss another upload. If you guys like this video, the, as far as, like, the, the educational fact, make sure you guys like that. Make sure you guys comment down below any other educational videos that, you know, might be, you know, uh, appalling or appealing to me or other audience that's in the comments section um make sure you guys have a good day toxic fruit and i'm out